and now we're back. Alright, so welcome back to another video channel. This is the first time channel. Welcome to gameplay number 7 of Red Dead Redemption 2. So we're back in gameplay number 7. I wanted to come by real quick to say thanks for coming by and spending another video on the channel. And also say thank you for, you know, showing a whole lot of love for this series. I really do appreciate the support the video's been getting so far. And I gotta say, this story's been pretty good so far. Like in the previous video, we had to make a run out of Valentine. And now we made a new camp. And also we made it, I guess, an introductory to... The new town folk and it was like pretty cool i guess they're just trying to get well acquainted with the law in the town trying to you know divert the attention that he's an outlaw himself i guess right now i'm actually really curious to see what's going on to these videos so with that let's continue our story as always drop a like comment and share any videos support channel all that, and i greatly appreciate it and let me know down in the comment section thoughts on video and also if you haven't yet please subscribe to the channel because right now we're on track to hit that 500 subscriber milestone and i'm actually really excited to hit that and now with that let's go ahead and continue our story Let's do this. I think I, well, I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Well, I always know whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. It's actually a lot better than the last spot, to be honest. Let's see. Right now, though, I'll give these what are we going to do next? Let's see. A bronze. You gotta be kidding me. I get a bronze. New South. Arthur Dutch and Hosea go out on a fishing trip. Let's see. Naka Anders. Without taking a hit. That one makes sense. Catch and return Anders and wait, Anders Anderson to jail within five minutes and thirty seconds. It did not feel like it took longer than five minutes and thirty seconds. What? Really? Father, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Right, just a just a few bucks and I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Alright, there's that. Let's see. We could. Hmm. Help y'all gain more debts. You know what? Let's see. Alright, so you know what? No, we'll not do a quest for you, but maybe for somebody over here, though. Let's see. Oh, Pearson. Pearson might have a quest we can do. Let's go ahead and look into what Pearson wants. Ooh. If I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. Who come near me? Ain't no one gonna do nothing, nobody. You put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing a hand. I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, so well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. If you need anything, Mr. Pearson, maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. Hey, it's an upgrade from staying at the camp. That's for sure. Let's go ahead and keep it going. Gonna follow the path. You That's cool pretty nice. Yet? I guess. 
this. I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Are uh, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. It's the privacy. That matters. Arthur just handed over the letter. Dear Aunt Kathy. And you're reading his voice. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> yeah, the fact that they're just laughing is this, this is mean. Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Dang. Okay. So now, I guess we can just stop here for now. We don't have to really hitch the horses. I should we go park them right here, though. That should be good. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No, you no, 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 no. I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy us some food to eat. And no guns. You sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Good day to you. All right, cool. So I guess the mail office is over here. Actually, it's down this way. Okay. Go ahead and go over here then. Let's see, let's go over here. I guess this is a post office. Wait, do I just talk to you over here? Oh, there's a counter over here. Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. Alright. Alright. Oh. Some mail? This one. So okay. this is where I can no pay my trouble. bounty. Thank you. Bye now. All right, cool. And now let's get back to the wagon. The simple quest. There's no way I can fail this if it's just this simple. There's no way I can get, you know, less than a silver. If it's just a silver, you know, just get yourself a new outfit. My sister's newborn had more strength than you, and he came out bright blue. I'm trying. Try harder. How much money did you have? Good. You for real got yourself a whole new outfit. You know what? I respect it. Let's go, anyways. Come on. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Dang, how much money well, did you come with? Back, then. Jesus. I didn't ask for goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, oh. lady, get a move on. I like safe. I'm just in passenger this time, okay? I know. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you. My husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, 
You know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. What's the item request? I think it's a whole new house? Don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Oh no. Hey. What uh what you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lamorne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, Let's see, just two? Oh! You know what? She started it. Let's see. I'm ready just in case. Oh, if buddy got close, or just stayed within range. I was ready. Let's see. Go for it. This shot over here. In front of us too. Oh. You know what? We're still good. Oh. oh. Shoot! 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 Come on. Hey, my aim. Okay. Let's go over here. All right. So, actually, he's gonna be a bit low. Shoot. See, got you. Do you? I missed with the scope. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, headshot. Great. Torso. I am this off. All the way off. Are you over here? Didn't miss that time. Okay. I don't got no loot. What are you doing? We should Getting get on. out of here. Oh, past those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. All right. Now. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Hey, you want me to drive? So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbon piercing about that letter. How dare you! I wouldn't dream of it. That's the first thing she's gonna do once we gets back. I can already see it. Making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind bothers. Not a chance. Yeah. Let's see, we should be getting close to camp, but I got a feeling I think I'm gonna get a bronze this time. Because my aim. You know what? No. I think I'm mostly silver because I didn't use a health item. I think there's a high chance I'll get a silver. I'm rooting for it. Because I think I'm going to get deducted points for my accuracy. Accuracy was just off. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. Ah. Uh I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And Okay. Now that quest is over. I got silver, okay, I'm not mad at it. You know what? It's better than bronze. So what was it? The accuracy? Further questions of female suffrage. To get her out of the camp for a while, Arthur takes Sadie into Rhodes to collect supplies. Yep. It was definitely accuracy, but I could have gotten that five headshots. 
Dang it. By the way, I was gonna get a server. It's all good. I guess for right now, we could look into quests. Let's see. I could do a quest for Leopold Stroud or home robbery. Um, I'll pass on the robbery. Let's see. I could do a quest for Dutch over here. Hmm. Who's GR? Grace. Dutch asked you to sniff around. Oh, yeah, I remember. Let's see. Over here. Hmm. Let's go ahead and make our way over to Dutch. That quest could be interesting. Let's see. Where's my horse at? Sorry about the map. Yeah, it'll be okay. I guess for right now. Are you my horse? I think this is my horse. No. Where's my horse at? It's somewhere around here. Actually, I think I see it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make my way over to Dutch. It's gonna take me a little bit of time, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you in a bit. Talk to you soon. Let's keep it going. Oh, wait. This is with the fish icon. You going out fishing? Actually, not again. We did a bunch of fishing earlier. Let me go ahead and just continue on to Dutch. I'll talk to you soon. All right, so after a bit of time, I made my way over here. I made my way back to town, and I just realized I have a bounty of $50 here. And I'm at the post office, so let me go ahead and pay it off. Well, quite the price tag on little old you. At least I got the money for it. Wise Covered. Investment. Keeping your head on your shoulders. How's your yeah, I don't want there to be any eruptions while, you know, we're doing story missions. Or whenever I'm in town, you know? Let's see. For right now, though, let's go ahead and make our way close to Dutch. Dutch should be around here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Right around here. Let's see. Will you give me some money? Hmm, I guess we can give a dollar. Sure. Well, thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from around here. If that was you, I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but oh. nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. They a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they... They somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, you reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. Huh. So we got some information. Okay. Actually, one more thing. Where's my horse at? Let's see, should be around here somewhere. Oh, there he goes. Let's see. Let me go ahead and get a hat on Arthur before we continue. Don't run away from me. Go. See now we got a hat on him. Gotta do now is look for a hitching post. There's one around here. Perfect. Now I know that Dutch is like in the building next door, but this is one here. We're good. Now let's see. Let's see what's Dutch doing. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Gray. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. <laughs> Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. 
There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Man, been drinking, drinking. Climb on up. Let's cool. Go. Let's go over here. Archibald. That's what deputies know. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaite's. I told you about the Braithwaite's. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. All right. That rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so. Because he's got a laundry ahead of us right now. Serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. The view's actually really nice. Whoa. Whoa. Hold up. You see that wagon? Is there anything of interest? Shoes my horse around? Just in case. Let's see. Get. Oh, I can't even get my guns equipped. That ain't nothing. Damn flies. I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing. Let's see. Your eyes open. Ooh. Everybody over here. Is he good? No. This must have happened recently. Dang it. Hey, come have a look at this. Can't search him. Alright, I guess I gotta wait for you to do it. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Ooh. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got well, any likely we took out the people that did it. Okay. We should get going. Dang, did it. This could have been us as Sadie didn't react the way up. she did. Now, more than likely, I would just took out Buddy with the sawed off, to be honest. Let's see, go over here. I gotta ride my horse now? Back out there, girl. Is that feel what you know a bit safer? It's so got weapons now. The horses, at least. 
Where'd he go? Oh, I guess I gotta ride with you. Would you mind taking the reins? I wanna have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. To drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. Go right at the crossroads. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Okay. Um, I think we're getting close to destination. I don't know. It's got that feeling we're getting close. And that we should be armed, just in case. Oh, foggy and everything. Barely see. Bear right again here. All right. Guess we go this way. Yeah, we should be getting pretty close by now. Just going to speed things up a bit. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're getting pretty close. We're getting deeper and deeper into the forest. This is the spot actually. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive. Okay, I'll try. Let's see. Understood. Round them up and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. Wait, we got bringing all of them alive? It might be hard, way harder than you know. Can you make a sound? Let's see, go over here. Wait, he's stuck. Corner reposition. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Shoo. I'll take... I'll take we'll left. take the left. Let's stop these filthy I don't know about knocking out. This is going to be pretty difficult if we're just doing knockouts. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and tie them up. Shoot. Do we got anything to knock them out with? Maybe I can hit him with a lantern or anything? Wait, I got dynamite? Okay. Didn't know that. That's good to know. Let's see. Let's go ahead and keep going for now. Are you walking through the water? Let's see. Let's so we'll go ahead and do this. All the way over here. Let's see. I'll just take lead. You wait right here. I'll be with you. Okay. Make it quick. Wait, how am I supposed to knock him out if he's up there? Let's see, maybe this will do. Ooh! I think it's I only animation. Okay, I'll good. This feller trust up. Let's see, let's keep going over here. Wasn't too bad. I don't know. 
They crouch. Let's see, but we gotta speed up though. What's over here? Oh, it's Dutch. Okay. Let's see over here. Got you. Ooh. Oh, that's supposed to hawk tie him. I got hawk tie the other person. Let's see. Got you. Actually, is that everyone? I think it is. Let's see. Let's go and carry them off to the wagon. Oh yeah, it's definitely the case. It's actually not that bad. It's actually more simple than anticipated for sure. Let's see why I just stash him in the back. Add him to the pile, or right here. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Got some dynamite. So, think you're real funny, don't you? Let's see. That is the last time I mention it, I swear. Let's go ahead and plant some dynamite over here then. Right over here. The distillery. Okay, without igniting it. Okay. Let's see. Now I think I got ignited. Did ignite? Oh! I didn't see an animation. I thought there was gonna be an animation. All right, second time's a charm. Let's see. I'll do this. Planet. Ignite. Okay, now run. I didn't see there was more of an animation. I really did. Okay, now go over here. Shoo, shoo, shoo people over here Let's see two one two three got you okay he didn't get taken out I think I shot off the hat again okay on my side Start using the weapons. Two. Two. Here. Dang it. Didn't time that right. I did that time. Dang it. The hat again. You're good. Let's see. Try to escape. Good. Two. Oh, I didn't have to. I thought I had to reload. Let's see. Two. Now over here. We're good. Oh, loot. I need ammo. Done yet? Shooting your leg. I don't see any more. Do you? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. I don't think my accuracy was the best this time. Okay. Yeah, I think this time accuracy wasn't so good. Dang it. Are we getting out of here then? Okay. Just for right now. Let's go ahead and keep looting. I get some ammo. Trying to get whatever I can. Right. I'll see you over there. I think we're good. Right now. Let me go ahead and make my way over to I think Dutch? Yeah, gotta be Dutch. Oh. It's a good thing Arthur can swim. At least try to. Good. Now, let's talk. Well done. 
<laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life move on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. All right, cool. Somewhere near camp off? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay. Shoot. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On wait a minute, you gotta lead though. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Set, wait a minute. Go. Crap, 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 crap. Let's see. We got it, we got it, we got it. Got nowhere to go. We got it. Horse is full on stamina. So we're gonna beat up for sure. Much of a rider. We'll see about that. Oh, gotta go this way. Oh yeah, we're good on stamina. As long as we're good on stamina, we can win. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Let's see. I think if I win this, I can at least take home silver. Oh, yeah. No way behind me. Ah, you got a lot closer than I anticipated. Might as well. Let's see. Oh! What's the wrong way? No! What if I shoot at the horse? Is that an option? Shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm gonna edit this out, that's gonna happen. Crap. Let's see. Still catch up, maybe. No. Actually, there might be a chance. Might be a chance, still. Come on, we got it, we got it, we got it. I'd be able to catch up. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Why not have to shoot the horse? Let's see, just keep going. We made it. Okay. Now. Let's see. Horse is getting tired though. I think we should let the horse rest for a bit. When well, we're so close to camp. Come on, you can make it. We're so close. It's gonna let you rest for a bit. We can rest all you want once we get over there. Take them to win. Oh <gasps> no! No! Ah oh, crap, I think I lost. Oh I am sorry, son. I'll spare the gloating Dutch. Oh, I'm not a gloater. Why would I laugh at the fact that you haven't learned after all these years to ride a horse very well? That is a source of great sorrow to me. Very funny. I have fun with you today. Be well. Here. 
Well, I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. If I didn't have to worry about the stamina of the horse, we could have won that. We really could have. All oh, this bronze metal actually hurts. A lot more because I lost. American Distillation? Arthur Dutch and Bill become temporary deputized citizens of a Scarlet Meadows County as they help Deputy Archibald shut down a moonshine distillery and steal a wag wagon load of the Brad White's moonshine. Then I didn't get nothing. Wait. Oh, to complete without taking any damage. Dang it. I didn't get any headshots or, you know, meet the 10 headshot requirement. Well, then again, I did use that shot, shot off on somebody's leg, so I guess that makes sense. Now, let's see. What quest can I take on now? Who's this? Molly? O oh, Molly? I mind doing a quest for Molly. Let's go and do it. Let's see. Molly should be just straight ahead. Hey, Arthur. Can I have a quick word? Let's go and talk. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so. But you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes. You are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> So payroll. Okay, I can work with this. Let's see. How you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while well, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson, that's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Easy now. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, bananas. Well, they'll be passing Going through this. the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Very Just much like to. Work. <laughs> Let's see. Very unguarded. Is that one like $15? We could shoot the tires if they try to run away. Let's see. Get that ready. You know, boys, I, I don't I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh great. 
So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay. Why don't you check out around? The money's here. It's hopefully. This is the box we need. Oh yeah. Got the monies. How much money? Shit! Hey! They can say something! Oh great. Let's go! Arthur! Let's go! So much for her to be unguarded. See. I had to shoot kill the horses. I'll be honest. I'd hate to do it, but I gotta do it. Survive. There's a whole lot of them back there. Light us up, boys! Get rid of these sons of bitches! Do not let them get what? See. Wait, I don't want to use. Oh, do, 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 do. there's more, there's more, there's more, there's more. See? Shoot. Oh, crap, crap, crap. This isn't good. Nope. This isn't good at all. I didn't make it. Dang it, that didn't go well. Keep going, keep going, keep going. So let's just go ahead and keep going. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Close that day. I didn't think there was going to be that many. Shoot. Let's see. Should work. It's nice. Got a good bunch of them. Some headshots, but got it work. Okay. Come on, come on. Let's see, we good? There's more. Still good. Let's see. One, two, three. Here we go. You. Still up? Actually, oh, I don't have enough. Go. Or get. You can move fast when you have to, can't you? Let's see. This is just in case. Everyone, stay tight. Still good. I don't want to use anything right now. Part of the checklist. Get off the trail. Into the woods. Go for the barn? Let, let, let's hide in here. Quick! Yeah. Shoot, I might have to hold it down here for a bit. Alright. Let's get out of sight. We'll stay until dark. And then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh Get some rest. Yeah. Hopefully the haul was worth it. I think I heard Arthur say it was more than a thousand. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I hate it. Let's just... Keep this calm. See what happens. Oh, they're robbing people? Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? Uh, uh, I. Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't. Maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Oh, crap. Ain't me. Better not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. Might take him out silently if anything. 
see. Are they gonna come here? Making their way over here, but I can't pull out the weapon wheel. Let's see, can I move? Nope. Guess I gotta wait for them to get close. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Alright, so one by one. For you. Let's go! Ooh! God damn it! Arthur! What was that? Let's fly at them, boys! Try to do the sound and take down. Didn't work. Crap. Got you. Someone over there. It's really dark. I can't see. See. We gotta hold it down in here. We gotta need a lantern. Get back in here, you crazy bastard! Let's see where we are. Now hopefully I can use the lantern and revolver at the same time. I think we can't. Shoot. Just gotta rely on darkness. Shoot. Shoot. Who's next? They were sick as from finding us anyway. See. Look out! Give my aim. Shoot. Good. Wait a minute. Somebody over here. Damn. Dang it. Okay. Shoo. See. Shoo over here. For the dynamite. Over here. We got more on this work. Let's see. What's that? Oh. He lit it up. How the heck did he survive? Shoo. Looks like Mr. Cornwall's gone up to security. Let's see. Hold it down here for a minute. Let's see. Hold him do over here. Got here. We don't get out of here soon. We're charcoal. I ain't gonna miss. Let's see, one. Could get what's this one to do? Come on, old man. Come on. You. <laughs> he shot at. Let's go through here. Let's head to the woods. Let's see. Okay. Can't see him. Can't see me. Keep going, keep, Just keep going. That was Where are we going, Bill? We'll try to lose him in the woods. Yes, we can do it at the moment. And it's dark. I'll try to use the lantern. Maybe that's not the best idea. Just screw it. I need to be able to see. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. It's probably like the worst idea to use a lantern when you're trying to hide, but I can't see. Let's see. Be sure we can see our faces. This dark in this game, it is dark. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're right or my right. Shh. Crap, 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 crap. Put the lens in the way. Now, he's throwing knives. You see anything? Not yet. See, we could let him pass. There's an option. Let's see, go for you over here. What? 
I thought we were being stealthy. Guess we should go give him a hand. I thought we were being stealthy. This dude uses a shotgun. Okay. Let's keep going over here. Let's see. Shoot. Let's see. Here. I was trying to use dead eyes just so I could see a bit more, but it didn't really help out much. Okay. Shoot, shoot, shoot. You can't use a health item. Crap, screw it. Let's see. This is one of these. Start getting proficient with them. Okay, that works. Let's see, go over here. Right, we're good. Nice. I think we're good. Just about. Yeah, I'll do with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Yeah, that is bad that we got Cornwall again. They only $112? And I got our bronze. An, an honest mistake. Uncle receives a tip off and rides out with Arthur, Charles, and Bill to rob a wagon carrying payroll. And we got nothing for this one. What about this one? Gang savings cut. Let's see. I think I got 112 and 50 cents. It's not bad. How much was Uncle's? Oh, about the same? Alright, cool. Now we're good. Let's see. I guess for right now, I don't know where to go. Actually, let's see. What quest can I do now? Hmm. The Grays. It's like the only one that's available right now. I guess I can do it. Let's see. For right now, though, I'm going to make camp because it's way too dark. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make camp. Get some rest in. Get some shut eye. And, you know, I got a long, long ride ahead of me. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and just meet you once I get close to it. Talk to you soon. Go ahead and craft and cook some food. Let's see, I can make this. Cool. Cook it. And eat. Now that we're good, let's get some shut eye. Alright, so we're back. So, at the bit of time, I think I'm getting close to the Gray's home now. Yeah, this is where I was supposed to go. Yeah, this is it. This is the spot. This here the gray plantation? Yep. Caliga Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Oh, put it away. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Alright, cool. Let's see. Finding out more about the Greys. Hmm. We could ask workers here. Wouldn't be a bad start. Let's see. Let's go and talk to you. Hey, can you talk? I look like I can talk. You want to talk and try Bo Gray? How about the storehouses? Man storehouses, huh? Can, but sure can move his lips. Okay. Let's see. By the storehouses. Storehouses over here. Hmm, so Bo Gray should be around here somewhere. Let's go ahead and go through here. Oh, it's locked. Okay, in that case, Come we're not going through there. Wait a minute. Are you Bo Gray? Hi there, mister. Sir. Okay, so you're not. How about you? Hey, friend. Hey, mister. Okay. It's a nice. Let's see. Oh, you're both great, huh? Let's go and talk. 
Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray. Son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow. If tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. All right, so not nothing too hard. All right, sounds good. Let's see, where's horse at? Where's more guy at? More guy should be around here. Yep, they are. Let's see. So we just got to deliver a gift and a letter. Not too hard. Let's see, go through here. Actually, real quick, let me go and check out the map. Hmm. Oh, we gotta travel all the way over here. Okay. So I got a bit of distance to cover. Sure, you know what? Let's speed up the process. Unless something cool happens, I'm gonna go ahead and meet you over the area. Talk to you in a bit. Let's keep going. Yep. All right, cool. So after a bit of time, I think I'm getting close to. I'm supposed to. Oh, we're supposed to sneak past the guards. Okay. Get off the horse then. Let's see. I wonder if I should take him out stealthily, or even if I can. Dang, it got dark quick. How did it get so dark? Matter of fact, better question: How did it get so dark so quick? So I guess we're looking for a gazebo. Could have sworn, guy we were talking to earlier said she'd sit at the gazebo. Hmm. I think that's it straight ahead. Maybe? No, it looks like just standard shed, if anything. Let's see, just keep going through this way. I wonder if we're supposed to just go here. Just be stealthy. Just be stealthy. Actually, I think it's past the house, actually. Let's see. Here, there goes the gazebo. Actually, now it looks like there's somebody over there. I don't know if it's a guard. But we should just be sneaky for now, or at least run for a bit. Run where we can. Not trying to be too obvious. I'll have to swim for a bit. I wonder where I'm gonna get on this checklist. I think I'm gonna get through the mission pretty quick. That was the person we were looking for. Wait, it's okay for you to know I'm here? Actually, I think it is. Hopefully, I'm right. Hopefully, you don't mind me being here. You drop off the present and letter. Are you Penelope Braithwaite. Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And. A gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, 
He is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or, well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different, <laughs> but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. And this bitch might as well just be called Messenger. Because that's basically all we're doing right now. Being a messenger. Shoot. I wonder if we can lead the way we came in. Swim through this path a little bit. Let's see. The letter should be fine. Hopefully the little pouch we got is waterproof. Let's see. Or at least water resistant. And no water gone to letter. Why is the minimap just complete red compared to earlier? Let's see. It's completely red. How am I supposed to see the cones and whatnot? There's no way this can be helpful. Let's just focus on not being seen for now. Actually, I think I can go. And run over here. We should be good. Wait. There's a little fire here. Oh, that might be their camp. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Here. Let's keep running, keep running, keep running. We should be in the clear for now. At least. Farther away, so that's progress. I don't think there's nobody else out here. Can we keep going? Wait, there's somebody over there. Shoot. Actually, let's keep going. We did it! I got silver. What stopped me from getting gold? Let's see the course of true love. Bo Gray asked Arthur to deliver a letter to Penelope Braithwaite at Braithwaite Manor. Okay. Complete within three minutes. No! Dang it! I wonder how long it really took me, like... Maybe 3 minutes and 30 seconds because that mission did not feel long at all. Come on, buddy. Guess now we turn back to Bo. Right, girl? Let's see. Yeah, let's go and do it. I'm gonna meet you all over there. I'll be in a bit. Alright, cool. Stop the bit of time. Let's see. I should be getting close to Bo now. Yeah, Bo's right here. He should be. Where you at? Probably at the stables here. Hmm. Should be around here. Oh, there you go right there. Let's go and talk. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... 
They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Shoot to where? All right, not on the horse. Mount up, Let's see. All right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on, come on. Yeah. Okay. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. So hopefully we can get there in time before they try to take out Penelope, though. So I guess in both situations he can't marry Penelope. His only option is well. I guess it's like something of an arranged marriage, if anything. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. Oh shoot. There they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? Leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep. And the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. I guess they have deputy protection, so that's good. Hopefully things don't get too crazy, though. Street, right through town to the steps of the Banker Road, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. Oh, it's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. As long as I gotta keep my shotgun holstered, I'm gonna be okay. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! 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 Is the day we begin to live as equal. Equal! Oh. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Fair, equal. 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 Fair, equal.
equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Wow. Mm. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. Ah. 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 His philosophy hey. dependent Shh. on biology, sir. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Yes, Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, no, you always will. Bo, why don't we just leave him? So well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, Shh. can you not see how idiotic you are? How's this going to play out? Peacefully, or? Quick now. Curious. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh Lord. Follow me. I know a place. I'm just gotta be ready. Let's see. That one ready. Just in case that one. At least they were able, you know, get some protection. To the location. I wonder what the cousin's gonna don't do. Wanna go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me, everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. The sooner it's out. The sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right. You know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so, but uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. All right, cool. We got payment. Nice. Ooh, it was gold. Another gold. The Course of True Love 3. At the request of Bo, Arthur drives Penelope and the other protesters through rows as they participate in a woman's suffrage rally. All right, cool. Oh, I was meant to read the checklist. Oh, well. The only thing that matters is I got a gold. I filled the requirements. Now let's see. Get this lantern going. It's getting pretty dark. Now I wonder what quest we're going to do next. Let's see. We could. Hmm. Has so Leopold Stroud got it? No, it's Lenny. Huh. Okay, something's going down with Lenny. Preaching forgiveness as he went. Uh oh. I don't like the. I don't like the title. I feel like we should make our way over to the camp. It's gonna take me a little bit of time, so with that, I'm gonna go to meet you back at camp. Or, you know, once I get close to Lenny, I'll talk to you in a bit. Let's keep it going. I just hope it's gonna be good with Lenny.